Hi, everybody. I'm coming to you from Catalyst Pharmaceuticals to talk about Agamry. The intention of this video is to discuss Agamry or Vimorolone, the oral suspension of 40 milligrams per milliliter. We'd like to thank the individuals, parents, family members, advocates, and advocacy organizations that have contributed to the development of this product. We recognize the strong interest from the community about Agamry, and we want to take the opportunity to introduce ourselves as we advance this program and ensure access for all those who can benefit. Please note that the statements made within this presentation are for informational purposes only and should not be considered advice or recommendations from Catalyst. As always, please consult with your physician team when making decisions around your medical needs. Also, the information in this presentation about Agamry applies only to patients in the United States. My name is Allison Anderson. I'm the Medical Affairs Director of the Neuromuscular Medical Science Liaison Team at Catalyst Pharmaceuticals. I was a genetic counselor for many years before joining uh, Catalyst, and I'm very happy to be here. Today, I wanted to go over some information with you. So the agenda is that we will look at the Catalyst patient advocacy. We'll go over a product overview, and then I'm going to describe some of the information about Catalyst Pathways. At Catalyst, we're focusing on developing and bringing to market innovative therapies for people living with rare neurological and hard to treat diseases, including Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Our priority of empowering patients drives our decisions and processes. We are committed to helping communicate our patients' points of view by providing the tools, resources, and knowledge they and their caregivers need to make informed decisions about their health. Next, I'll provide an overview of a GAMRI, including the indication and dosing, the key clinical trial data, and the registry information. Agamry is a new and novel corticosteroid that was developed to provide the anti-inflammatory effects of traditional corticosteroids while potentially lessening certain unwanted side effects seen with traditional corticosteroids. When you think about what is happening in Duchenne, inflammation is one of the main factors causing muscle damage. The long-term damaging inflammation seen in DMD is caused by NF-kappa B mediated signaling pathways. Agamry, like other corticosteroids, limits the activity of these inflammation causing protein pathways and is thought to slow down the course of Duchenne muscular dystrophy. Agamry is structurally different than other corticosteroids, so it is expected to reduce the glucocorticoid receptor mediated response a process causing unwanted side effects. Agamry is an orange flavored oral suspension taken once daily, preferably with a meal. And the dosage of Agamry is actually based on the weight of the patient. Specifically, the dosage is six milligrams per kilogram, up to 300 milligrams for patients weighing over 50 kilograms. Agamry was studied in a 24 week clinical trial that included 121 boys with Duchenne from ages four to less than seven years of age. Effects of Agamry on muscle strength and function were evaluated compared with a placebo sugar pill in patients taking a lower dose of two milligrams per kilogram per day and a higher dose of six milligrams per kilogram per day. Next, we will briefly touch on three key outcome measures for which Agamry showed clinically important changes compared to placebo. Time to stand measures the time it takes for the patient to stand up from a lying down position. For patients taking the higher dosage, time to stand was 0.06 rises per second faster. And for those taking the lower dose, 0.045 rises per second faster. For both doses, these changes are significant and clinically meaningful. The six minute walk test measures the distance a patient can walk on a flat, hard surface for six minutes. Patients taking the higher dose of a Gamry walked 42 meters 
or 138 feet further, while those on the lower dose of two milligrams per kilogram walked 40 meters or 131 feet further than placebo. The next metric measures the time it takes for a patient to run or walk 10 meters or 33 feet. Patients taking the higher dose of Agamri showed an increase in speed of 0.24 meters per second or 0.79 feet per second. Here you can see a list of side effects that occurred in at least 5% of patients treated with Agamri and more frequently than placebo. Agamri was also compared on certain safety measures with the standard of care prednisone. After 24 weeks of treatment, patients treated with Agamri had an increase in height percentile compared with a decrease in patients treated with prednisone. Also, Agamri was not associated with a reduction in biomarkers of bone health, as was noted with prednisone. Lastly, Agamri was associated with less behavioral problems compared with prednisone over the 24-week study. Fewer boys treated with Agamri had shifts from normal to abnormal in dependency, hostility, and productivity compared with prednisone. These data are from relatively short-term treatment. More data are needed to determine the long-term effects of a GAMRI. Now I'd like to note some important safety information about a GAMRI. There is an increased risk of infection when taking corticosteroids like a GAMRI. Tell your healthcare provider if the patient has had recent or ongoing infections or has recently received a vaccine. Seek immediate medical advice in the case of a fever or any other signs of infection. Some infections can be severe and sometimes fatal. So patients should avoid exposures to chicken pox or measles, and please alert your healthcare provider immediately if exposure occurs. Corticosteroids, including a GAMRI, can cause an increase in blood pressure and water retention. Your healthcare provider may monitor for these increases during treatment. There is an increased risk of developing a hole in the stomach or intestines in patients with certain gastrointestinal disorders when taking corticosteroids like a GAMRI. Corticosteroids, including a GAMRI, can cause severe behavioral and mood changes. Seek medical attention if behavioral or mood changes develop. There is a risk of osteoporosis with prolonged use of corticosteroids like a GAMRI which can lead to vertebral and long bone fractures. Corticosteroids like a GAMRI may cause cataracts or glaucoma. Your healthcare provider should monitor for these conditions if a GAMRI treatment continues for more than six weeks. Rare instances of severe allergic reaction have occurred in patients receiving corticosteroid therapy. Before starting a GAMRI, Tell your healthcare provider about all medical conditions and medications taken by the patient. Certain medications can cause an interaction with a GAMRI. There are a few more items you should know about a GAMRI. Immunization should be up to date according to the immunization guidelines prior to starting therapy with a GAMRI. Live attenuated or live vaccines should be administered at least four to six weeks prior to starting a GAMRI. Live attenuated or live vaccines should not be administered in patients taking a GAMRI. These decisions should be made in consultation with your physician. Also, very important here, do not stop a GAMRI or change the amount taken without first checking with your healthcare provider. There may be a need for gradual dose reductions to decrease the risk of adrenal insufficiency crisis, which can be fatal. And lastly, Catalyst has established a registry called the Summit Study to better document the long-term effects of a GAMRI. Summit will have up to 25 trial sites across the U.S. for patients to enroll. This is no ordinary registry, and it offers assessments that go above and beyond the normal standard of care to better serve the people taking a GAMRI. Please use the QR code on the screen to view the Agamri PI or visit the URL on the slide. Next, I wanna give you a brief introduction to the Catalyst Pathways program 
including the many services and educational resources that we're working on to help serve your community on the treatment journey. Catalyst Pathways is our free patient support program, providing one-on-one -on -one support to people and their caregivers throughout their treatment journey with a GAMRI. In addition, a dedicated team of specialists is available to help them manage their unique challenges, which can range from starting treatment, questions about taking their medication, and managing insurance issues. Catalyst Pathways is staffed with a team of specialists that has extensive experience in healthcare and can provide detailed information about your medication and dosing, as well as other helpful tools for managing daily life. Your team helps you get involved in other Catalyst Pathways programs and connects you to community and advocacy resources. So let's talk about accessing a GAMRI. The path to accessing a GAMRI and Catalyst Pathways support starts with a completed enrollment form. We are currently accepting enrollment forms for Catalyst Pathways, which are available at yourcatalystpathways.com. The best way to access a GAMRI is asking your prescribing physician to fill out the enrollment form and return it to Catalyst Pathways. The Catalyst Pathways enrollment form will be filled out, filled out by your prescribing physician together with you. Please note that a Spanish language version of the form is also available. The caregiver or patient, if over 18, must sign and date the patient authorization section of the enrollment form to allow Catalyst to communicate with the patient's healthcare provider, insurance company, and financial assistance organizations as necessary. When completed, your physician will send the completed form to Catalyst using the instructions provided on the form. After your enrollment form is sent, Catalyst insurance navigators will work directly with your insurance company to ensure the medication is covered. This includes determining if prior authorization is needed for coverage. Once your coverage is approved, a care coordinator will reach out to welcome you to the Catalyst Pathways program, explain your insurance coverage and financial assistance options, and coordinate shipment of medicine through the specialty pharmacy. Lastly, patients enrolled in Catalyst Pathways will receive a welcome kit that includes resources to help you get better acquainted with the Catalyst Pathways program. Once your coverage is approved, your Agamri prescription will be mailed direct to your door by Anovo RX. That is our rare disease experienced specialty pharmacy. You won't be able to access a Gamry at your local retail pharmacy, but Anovo RX will deliver medicine as quickly as overnight to your home or to another location that you provide. Experienced pharmacists are available to answer questions around the clock by phone at, get your pen or pencil, 1-844-288-5007. I appreciate your time and I hope that you found this overview to be valuable in your journey. I can't reiterate enough how much we value the community and the passion we have to serve you well. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us at any time if you have questions or if you'd like to review anything in more detail. You can reach us by phone at 1-833-422-8259 and visit us online at www.yourcatalystpathways.com.